Hi, it's Ben from Live Fit here, and in this video we're going to talk about trigger pointing. So in this particular video we're going to actually chat about um, how we can release off your hamstrings and also your glutes. So with this, um, because they're very dense muscle tissue areas, we want to use a ball that's quite hard. So we have the TP massage ball here, which has like a rubber inside and a, a kind of um, fabric around the outside which makes it quite soft um, to touch. This is a hockey ball, which is very hard. So it's, um, it depends on personal, personal preference because if you do go too hard on your muscles, you can leave yourself maybe a little bit of surface bruising and we don't wanna do that. So maybe start with a softer ball, like a tennis ball or a TP massage ball like this and then progress yourself up as you feel necessary. So I'm gonna, I've been doing this quite a lot, so I'm gonna use um, the hockey ball. And what we're gonna do with our glutes is we wanna find the, real, the midpoint of our glutes. So if you turn on your side, you'll note here that we've got our big hip bone. So it's not the hip bone up high, it's the one here, that's called our greater trochanter. And that's the reference point for all our glute muscles that attach to it, okay? So what we wanna do there is find that, and then around from there we've got our glute maximus, medius, and minimus. So we then want to just roll over onto that, pop an elbow down, and we can, this is, kind of the most advanced place to do it. So what you want to do is kind of move around and find those tight spots and you'll really start to feel the right spot when you're on it. It'll, it'll refer sometimes down your leg or into your hip. Now if you want to get more pressure on it, you can come up onto your hands to get even more on it and work more down around the bottom, around the bottom of your bottom. And then when we want to actually have less pressure, we can just lay on our side, like so. Now the leg that we are um, releasing off, we just wanna have that one relaxed out to the side with the other foot flat on the ground. And then we, we can move around like this. So this is probably the starting position. Progress yourself to this spot here, and then finally up to here. Now with the hamstring release, what we wanna do is find the midpoint of our hamstring. So, we can do this just by looking from the side of the greater trochanter to our patella, and we just find the midpoint there. So that's a good reference point. Now, underneath we have three different um, hamstring muscles. We've got the biceps femoris, the semitendinosus, and also the semimembranosus. So what we're gonna do is find the attachment point of these up on high in your pelvic bone. So what we do here is take this ball right up now it's not on your glute, it's just down to where, kind of underneath where your glute starts to roll underneath. And we're going to just roll onto that there. And then we need to balance. And it's important here that we have our hands facing forward or, or to the side, but we keep ourselves leaned forward. If we lean back, um, we don't really put the muscle on stretch. So we need to stretch the hamstring and add pressure from underneath. So with the hamstring, it's a slightly different technique. It's called active release. We're stretching and also adding pressure, which will help a really good um, release occur. And what we're going to do is lean forward over it, and what you will normally feel is a big referral going down to the back of your knee. And that's when you've got it right. If you're not feeling that referral, move it around, and you can always find a slightly better spot where you can really feel it, and then bang, it shoots right down. And we just want to hold on this until you feel that dulling sensation come on again. And what this will do will really help take the pressure off your lower back, because your lower back is related to glutes and hamstrings and the posterior chain. So when your hamstrings are tight and your glutes are tight, it actually puts more pressure and puts you into a tilted position in your lower back. So if you do have a, do a lot of sitting at work um, or in your day-to-day -day job, um, this is a, a really important trigger point to do with your hamstrings, um, also in your glutes. Best to do after you've done a workout when you're warm. When you're doing these trigger points when you're cold, they can be quite invasive and, and leave you a little bit sore. So do it after a run or a cardio session or after some weights. Do your trigger pointing and then get into a nice deep stretch.